boy, oh boy, is the wind blowing. Man, the white caps on the lake. <laughs> I get hit in the side in the face with tree limbs. <laughs> it's really nice. It's hot out there. It's really hot out there today. But with that wind blowing the way it is off all that water and onto this beautiful trail. Oh my goodness. Hey, where'd my dog go? There he is. Hi, Cody. <laughs> it is just so pleasant. It really is pleasant. I mean, uh, make sure you can hear how, how hard the wind is blowing. We walk along this trail and you just get, it's like the best air conditioning you can imagine. On a really hot day when you wouldn't want to venture out. Yeah, this is a trail I've taken some photos off. It's a, it's a local one by my place. And uh, had a lot of business stuff going on lately. And haven't had a chance to make a film for YouTube, so this would be rather short. You guys don't want to see me walking along a trail. Uh, but I just wanted to give a shout out there. You know, this has been taking care of business. Things slow down a little bit. I'm getting uh, gear together, going over stuff. Just ordered a new backpack. Uh, learned about it through an excellent review that was done by none other than Bushcraft Dave. Oh, Bushcraft did. Dave did a, a, a review on a 48 liter uh, backpack, a McGregor, and uh, man, that thing is something. It's revolutionary. You just, I, I don't want to bother describing it. Just recommend you check out uh, Bushcraft Dave's channel on that uh, that review he did on that pack because I have a 65 liter Osprey anti gravity that I love, but I needed a second pack that was smaller, lighter, and what I like about it is it's uh, it's actually two separate pieces that swivel. So you can be really physically active with that. Just mold to your body. You can scramble with it. It's going to arrive any day. I have to do my own little show of it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's uh, the insight that was given by Dave on his channel was so good. One of the better reviews I've seen. And uh, man, I had been on, I had my eye out for one for a long time. So I wanted a second pack that was smaller, lighter, and uh, I, mean, I didn't need to look any further. Oh, buddy! So anyway, updates are coming. When uh, when we shift out of this intense weather a little bit, I'll be off. I'll do some filming. So hey, in the meantime, guys, I hope you're having a grand day. I like this part of the trail. I'm sure this is terribly shaky, ungambled. I don't even have it on a stick or anything else. Which way should we go? <laughs> Alright guys, good to see you again. A quick hello from Morgan Mike H. And the Cody Dog with many blessings your way. Bye bye. Let's go Cody, let's go! I'm panning around here to a point on an island. Coming into view now. Just at the right of the frame. It goes back in there. I know it looks like it ends, but it actually goes back a ways. Just as it does on this side here. Magnificent. The flora and the way that the trees have fused together from really old growth to old growth <laughs> is phenomenal.
want to hit back? Huh? Let's go further if you want to hit back. Which is I'll keep going? Okay. So I take it that this is how editing is done? You come back from your camera and you cross this part out? I always wanted to see when I was watching YouTube videos the guys coming back to get their cameras. So I'm leaving it in. Hey my friends, the uh, the weather here at the Central Oregon coast, oh my word, I'll pan and give you a view. It looks overcast, but there's no rain, and uh, the humidity is just right, and we're being so blessed with pleasant temperatures right now. Oh my goodness, the temperatures are nice. So, making a break from all the work I've been doing recently. Lord knows there's been a lot of it. I owe so much gratitude to the group of former Marines who helped me put on my brand new industrial grade roof. Oh man, I can't believe how fortunate I am to have friends like that. You know, one of them, his name is Andrew. Um, he's a major in the Marine Corps active duty about to be redeployed. Uh, he and his well-skilled carpenter friends, uh, fellow Marines. Uh, I'm not a Marine. I was in the Army. But these guys are dear friends of mine. There's a group of them. They're, a lot of them are Christian. And uh, I have a new roof to thank to them. I, I, I wouldn't have had it without them. And, uh, of course, uh, the assistance I received from an outstanding family, uh, contractor family, uh, that helped me uh, put new siding on my home that was desperately needed because the siding I had was called LP and some of you folks may know that was a nationally recalled class action suit product. When I found about, out about the national recall it was one or two days past the closing of the class action suit in order for me to have my entire home replaced. So I had to replace it through a good share of life savings at present. And uh, the rest of the money has gone into my sailboat and repair of that. Uh, I couldn't afford to uh, purchase another electric motor at a price point. Uh, it was a, just it was a throwaway motor and uh, I took a look around at current prices for electric motors I wouldn't have been able to go sailing this season I couldn't afford a, a new electric motor not not after all these expenses so uh, for the first time in my life I tore an electric motor down that's rather complex inside a, a tiller shaft and all that and uh, I feel rather confident uh, with it. I've ordered uh, the special parts that were needed and uh, they're on their way and that's going to come together and then uh, I'm not about to sell without an electric motor aboard um, especially coming into now a dock. I'm an experienced sailor but I'm not accomplished enough to take chances. I'm not about to take chances. 
We've had some tragedies out here recently. It breaks my heart. Uh, I've lived here for 37 years, and uh, it's in the news. Uh, we just very recently lost two brothers out in the lake. They both uh, died trying to save one another. So, um, anyway, uh, I know it's been a long time getting a video back out to y'all, and I thank you for your patience. Uh, Instagram is my primary platform because of the circle of incredible friends I have there. I should do uh, more efforts to YouTube, but uh, I, I probably, one of the reasons that I probably don't uh, post to YouTube or upload to YouTube as often as I, as I should is simply because of the time I spend on Instagram with uh, the most incredible people. So anyway, uh, you saw this in Instagram photos. If you follow me on Instagram, it's my sailboat. And all this uh, rigging has been redone. Um, I had to put on new cleats. Nice ones. Here do you see the electric motors off for now. It's dismantled in my house. And I'll tell you what, there's a, with a few more fine uh, parts to that than I expected. <laughs> had to do some research and education about electric motors. Uh, but uh, what the heck, I mean, it was a throwaway and there was no possibility of the season for sailing. I did a lot of work to the cells too. I mean, this has been like a, uh, like a restoration project in the house. I'm so grateful for her. I can't show you the, the roof from this angle, but it's not a standard roof. It's a, a composition roof, yes, but it's uh, industrial grade. And all I had to do was pay for materials, help do the labor that I could, and then uh, donate the labor to fellow veterans on a pay it forward system. And that made me think during this video of that very subject I wanted to share with you all was when you have the opportunity to pay it forward to others, the blessings that have come your way, I assure you, you will not be disappointed. So this little walk around is going to complete this addition. That I'm patching together in a little bit longer video for YouTube. So you'll see unrelated uh, segments in the video. Just put together things in my life currently going on that I know that some of my friends might appreciate learning a little bit more about. I've also been contacted by my family and uh, they're needing a hand. Uh, hand with things that uh, I kind of specialize in. So I hope to get something a little bit more done and share with you and have a fine video uploaded before I leave for Portland. If not, uh, even though I'm finally at the point now where I can go sailing and share that with you too, it's a lot of fun, uh, I may have to spend some time in Portland. That's a long haul. But we'll get things wrapped up, we'll get back and I'll be back at you. In the meantime, I invite you to drop in on Instagram for all the smiles and all the good cheer and the great hearts that exist in my circle and in their circle of fellow friends that are just outstanding. For now, thanks and blessings to y'all. Have a grand day. Well, Cody's being a good boy like I asked. <laughs> but they are slowly making their way away from the source of the disturbance. Oh, they're still bitching about it. They're still complaining about it. Oh, 
over there, the noise you hear landscape work going on. Those folks are sprucing up the place, cutting down the dead leaves off of the palm trees and erecting a nice little uh, area there by the picnic tables for a wedding. And that's just grand. This community has had some recent uh, heartbreak over the two brothers that were lost out here in the lake trying to save one another. So folks, you know, no matter what your experience is on the water, these guys were very experienced. We're talking about Alaskan fishermen here. They were in their 60s retired. And they kind of have a philosophy that when the Lord takes you, it's just your day to go, and they don't wear life preservers. In their line of work, you know, I just... I've, I've, I've learned that from other folks. That's, that's confirmed. It's not my opinion. And uh, I just caution everybody, no matter what your skill level is, for gosh sakes, always wear a life preserver. Okay, don't want uh, too, too drab a news here. This is YouTube supposed to be entertaining and enlightening. Not necessarily real and factual. <laughs> I'm standing on a wavy dock trying to capture that osprey for you guys. It's going to be a little shaky, but what visuals I can get of them, they're extraordinary birds. They fly in pairs, I'm just locked in on this one for now. You might look it up, uh, might Google it. Those type of birds called ospreys, for those of you that may not be familiar with them. Oh, uh, don't get too far away. Just wanted to grab that for you. What a day, huh? What a beautiful day. We're talking hot, heart of the summertime weather. To be experiencing this right now is it's such a pleasure. Happy dog. That's what's important. <laughs> Oh, God. Man, are we ever having a windstorm out on the coast here. My goodness. There's uh, white caps out on the lake. It's just blowing like mad. I should have took this from a better perspective so you could see. Anyway, even though I'm in the shelter of this trail, which is heavily sheltered, I'm trying to pay a visit to Mr. Bear. <laughs> um, this wind is even knocking through here. The sailboat's ready to go, but... I think I'll be waiting for just a little bit for things to calm down some. I do so enjoy this trail. Don't be Cody! Every tree must be marked! Here we go. I know. I know. You go. Man, wow, man.
There's some wind in here. And it's really covered well, but frankly, I think I'm a little concerned about them coming down. I think we'll pull back for another day. There you are. <laughs> I love being one of the few creators that leads into editing his coming back for his camera. <laughs> Well, I decided to duck out of the wind for a minute. I'm in a closed area. Breaking the rules once again. <laughs> but I uh, just wanted to uh, duck in some place where you know, it wasn't so windy. And uh, tell you guys, I kind of look forward to taking a sailing today. But oh my goodness, you guys, that wind is bad. I was walking the trail and uh, heard a lot of cracking. Uh, the trees, even on the enclosed trail, were just blowing like crazy. So we're having a major windstorm down here. So I thought, well, we're going to the sheltered area. There was a, uh, as you, you'll see on Instagram, there's photographs about uh, a bear spotted on that trail just very recently. So I had some uh, thrill and anticipation of maybe a having an encounter there. I've got bear spray with me. And I have that creature. Huh? And we've had uh, we've had encounters uh, with bears in the past. So there were just several things combined. The uh, the enclosedness of the trail. Okay, it's very enclosed. Um, the wind being as strong as it is where if a limb came down from these really tall trees all over around me uh, you know it's a danger level there there's always a danger level with a bear encounter but I'm very confident about that because I've been through it before with the dog and the bear spray uh, Cody's hyper alert but again it's in a very enclosed area and the spotting was very recently so you put all these things together and uh, yeah not only am I not going sailing but I'm not going trail walking on this particular trail today. So I just wanted to stop in and give an update on this patchwork of videos. Uh, wanted to get something out. I wanted to take you sailing, but we have to wait for that. So I thought I'd just put together a little patchwork here and get it out on YouTube to you all. Wish you well, and uh, hope you're having a grand day while uh, we continue this little uh, forlorn and cautious adventure. <laughs> Having a good time as always. Hope you are too. Good day to you. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, oh, oh. I'm sorry! You were sabotaged! Oh.
What is it? You want we should go? We go.